Hi, my name is Alan Wright. Welcome to the Travel Well with Alan video update. We in the United States are experiencing record highs in deaths from the pandemic. Epidemiologists told us this was coming because of the holidays when increased interactions would lead to increased infections, which mathematically lead to increased hospitalizations and increased deaths. This is no surprise. I have been suggesting for two months that you should not be traveling for the holidays. However, I had also been suggesting that hopefully by the end of January, we would be getting a handle on the pandemic and flattening the curve. I no longer think this is true because we're now dealing with two new COVID variants. You've heard about these, one from the United Kingdom, one from South Africa. The South African one has some worrying characteristics in terms of its ability to avoid the effectiveness of the vaccines and treatments. But the near-term problem for both of those variants is that they're both more infectious than the current one that we have. The UK study that just came out about this showed that it was 50 to 70% more infectious. This is a big deal. Remember that R factor, each person who's infected infects X number of people. If that number of people is more than one, R more than one, we're losing the battle. We really want that to be below one. We are losing that battle right now. And the problem is as infectivity goes up, then that R factor probably will go up. We would expect to see massive increased infections if this virus variant truly is more infectious. So take a look at this chart from the New York Times. It shows exactly that. It compares the United Kingdom with some of its Northern European peers and South Africa against some of its South African peers. And it shows that both countries have been doing pretty well compared to their peers up until a few weeks ago when things really got bad because of these new variants. That is what we are expecting in the United States. That is what will undoubtedly happen in the United States. So what does that mean for you? First of all, if we have more infectious virus strains than your current practices of social distancing and mask wearing are not only important, they might not be as sufficient as they were in the past. I would suggest now's the time to be extra cautious. We all want to do other things and meet new people and meet our old friends, and it's not the time to do that. In terms of travel, which is what this report is all about, I no longer think that by the end of January, we'll be looking at the ability to start selectively traveling. I think that this is the time not to be traveling. We need to get a handle on this pandemic to give us time to get people inoculated with the vaccines. That is what is critical. So if you do choose to go travel, you need to do it in a very selective manner in a way that you are quite confident you will be safe. 